Hey, um, so I told Griffin I'd meet him at his place, uh, and, well, I don't know where that is. Do you? You're actually going through with that? What is she going through with? It's nothing. She wants to meet up with Griffin. Wh what It's my choice, and I told him I'd be there. I'm a, I'm a woman of my word. I knew neither of them were gonna like the idea of me going to his house alone. But what else is there to do? Who knows what he wants? It could be... Uh, animalistic activities. Then I'll leave. Easy as that. My magic is strong, I can handle him. If you say so. But if I don't see you back here before morning, I'm coming to get you. Got it? Okay. Fine. Now, where does he live? Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got someplace that I gotta be It won't leave My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written in the sky you're on your own But baby, it's another lie Remember you were me Oh no The doctor says take some pills But this is not how it's supposed to feel Upside down and in and out I guess I have to take a break Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written As I stood outside the grand building that is Hawthorne Manor, I got a sinking feeling in my stomach. The type of feeling you'd get on the top of a roller coaster about to drop, unsure of what's ahead, but knowing I'll most likely survive. I had never seen so much history in one room, including the school's library. Books on subjects I'd never even heard of. Find something you like? <sighs> Apologies if I startled you. You seem quite skittish. Not at all. What did you want to talk to me about? Mind if we take this upstairs, princess? My heart started pounding at that moment. Sage's words replayed in my mind. Animalistic uh, activities. activities. Why upstairs? I think down here works fine. I'd rather my father not hear us. Please. If you insist, but 
just talking, right? How low do you think of me? As low as someone who snuck into my dream and saw me taking a bath. I promise, and I don't break my promises. Fine then. Lead the way, Griffin. scared to sit next to me? Not at all. Now, say what you needed to say and then I should go. Fine. When I first met you in the diner, there were a couple thoughts that crossed my mind. The first was, how are you so powerful? I read a lot. Oh no, not knowledge. I'm talking about power. See, you're gifted. And you're much stronger than you're allowing yourself to be. With my help, you could be at the top of senior year. Not to sound pretentious, but I'm already at the top of senior year. <laughs> Wait. Junie. Look, I didn't want to admit it, but you have the potential to be even stronger than me. With my help, you... I don't need your help. I don't want your help. I've lasted this long on my own. I don't need anyone's help now. Now, if that's all you wanted to ask, I must be going. If you need me, text me like a normal person. Dreams are off limits. Ah, <sighs> that girl. Staring at the other side I'm too scared to decide I'm staring at the other side And I'm hoping it's different this time Would she Oh, hi. It's you again. Um, thanks for protecting my ass the other day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hi. Uh, yeah, no worries. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, you're very beautiful. I never thought the one to come to my rescue would be a gorgeous knight in shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> if that's your attempt at flirting... I'm going to have to tell you right now that I'm not interested in a relationship currently. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Xavier, by the way. How about I buy you another coffee? 
as a thank you for helping me the other day. I'll never turn down a coffee. <laughs> I, I'm Junie. Nice to meet you. <laughs>